hi everybody, this is Mark Newman, founder of Precision Analytical, the makers of the Dutch test, and I am excited today to explain to you some updates to our Dutch test report. This is probably the biggest update we've ever had to how we tell our hormone story through the Dutch test, and we hope that you will find it to be a simplified version of that hormone story that really helps you to leverage the test with your patients. The key feature of this update is an updated hormone testing summary page. So page one of the report, as you can see it here, really highlights the 12 key elements of the Dutch test. And if I zoom in a little bit closer here, I wanna show you the features of this that I think we've really uh, improved in terms of your ability to quickly understand your patient's case and tell the story from this testing summary page. What we've always been trying to do with the Dutch test is basically tell three hormone stories for your patient. We want to tell the estrogen story, the androgen story, and the cortisol story. Now, if we're talking about a male patient, we're going to flip that order and start with his androgen story, then move into the estrogens, which are still important for our male patients, and then move down to the cortisol story. This particular example I'm showing you happens to be a Dutch plus with the salivary cortisol, but I will show you the Dutch complete and what it looks like here in a minute, which is very, very similar. So we're telling these three stories, but also we're dividing it neatly into hormone production on the left, estrogen, androgen, cortisol, and estrogen, androgen, and cortisol metabolism on the right. So production on the left, hormone metabolism on the right. Now, as I said, this is a Dutch plus. If it happens to be a Dutch complete, it's gonna be the exact same layout, except we're exchanging the salivary free cortisol up and down pattern for the diurnal cortisol pattern in urine in the lower left there. Now, because we've brought these 12 elements forward, the 12 key elements that you used to have to flip through four or five pages in order to understand, we're able to also build an interpretive framework around this that I think you'll find very, very helpful. So we have our hormone testing summary page, and then the rest of the results and the pages that follow are going to then bring back these three sections of estrogen, androgen, and cortisol. And what we're gonna do is build an interpretive framework around that to make it really easy for both you and your patient to follow. We're calling this the Dutch dozen. So these 12 key elements of the Dutch test, we're gonna walk you through them one page at a time for these three sections. Let me show you what that looks like. For the first section, we're looking at the patient's estrogen story. We've got these four really key elements for the estrogen story. So the estradiol level on the left, next up the progesterone, how high is the progesterone? In this case, it's really low. So it's not gonna be enough to balance that estrogen. We're gonna load this with patient specific comments to help you understand these elements moving on. On the metabolism side, we've got phase one metabolism, looking at the two and the 16 and the two and the four hydroxy, balance, and then lastly, looking at phase two or methylation. So looking through these four key elements and really helping you to understand those. Moving on to the androgen story, the same concept, looking at adrenal androgens or total DHEA production, and then testosterone, 5-alpha androstane dial, which is that intracellular DHT marker, and then the 5-alpha, 5-beta balance in terms of whether the patient has androgenic metabolism. This is a really nice case that highlights someone who's got a lot of DHT going on at the tissue level. And then very simply, you can look to the left and see that the reason for that doesn't seem to be that they're making too much DHEA or too much testosterone. As we look to the right, we see the reason why is because their androgens are all going heavily down this 5-alpha pathway, making lots of DHT in the tissue, therefore resulting in this high 5-alpha androstane dial. For each of your patients, we're going to help you walk through the four key elements of estrogens, androgens, and then the cortisol. Here again, looking at that up and down pattern of cortisol, the total of the free cortisol, whether it's urine in a Dutch complete or saliva in a Dutch plus, and then looking at the total of the metabolites. And then as we compare those, those infer the cortisol clearance rate, which is your fourth element. So again, walking through the key elements of the cortisol story so that when you return to this front page, once you're oriented to this new format, you'll be able to really efficiently tell that story. Now, one other key element we've added, 
If you look at the bottom, you'll see a little cheat sheet for the oats, for the organic acid panel, which will tell you before you even get to page two, that when you get to page six and look at the organic acids, you already know that you're gonna have a B12 issue to discuss, a B6 issue, and a, the gut marker indican that is elevated here, which ties in nicely with this story. And you can understand that from the front page so that you really have the ability to tell about a two minute story that gives a really nice overview of the patient's hormones right here from the front page. And then you can dig in deeper and some of you I know what you're thinking. I already dig in deeper. I don't just think about estradiol. I'm also thinking about what those next pages show about estrone and 16 hydroxy estrone. We've got you covered on these deeper items as well of advanced insights. So we're gonna walk you through this Dutch dozen, these 12 key elements, and then we're gonna have a second list of comments that walk you through those same 12 elements, but allow you to dig deeper. So we call these the advanced insights. For estradiol, for example, looking at the impact of E1 and 16-hydroxy-E1, which are also estrogenic metabolites. And for each of those elements, we'll have a deeper look at some of the things that you can, over time, become experts at. Please do see the other two educational videos, and we have many other resources for this new report. Two in particular, one is gonna walk you through the new elements of this report. There are a few additional elements that are meant to aid in your interpretation. There's also one element that we're retiring as we roll out this new report format, and that is the pie chart from the estrogen metabolism. We know this is the favorite for some of you, and we really wanna explain the science of why using these two sliders for the two 16 ratio and the two four ratio is a better way to not miss a few issues that you might have with patients and their estrogen metabolism. And lastly, to go into some of these deeper, more advanced concepts, there's another video that's gonna help introduce those concepts, the advanced insights. So please do see those other educational elements and we look forward to continuing to work with you as you leverage the Dutch test to help your patients on their way to hormone health.